As Andrew um, alluded to, I'm here to talk to you about SME development within the supply chain, particularly within brakes. The scope for this is a brakes overview, brakes in Scotland, brakes in the public sector, brakes plans for SMEs and how it will work, success stories, testimonial, and a quick summary at the end with questions and answers. So if we can keep them to the end, there'll be plenty of time for that. Brakes in Scotland, we're doing a £125 million turnover. That's across all our business in Scotland. That is across public, corporate, independent, key accounts. Basically, as Hugh mentioned earlier, when, when you talk about Scotland XL, they're in every part of your life. Well, brakes are in every part of your life as well because that meal you have in the hospital when you first had your child or the child first comes into the world, brakes will be in that hospital. When you unfortunately leave the world, perhaps in a care home, brakes are there as well. Any restaurant that you're in, anywhere at all in Scotland or the UK, in fact, in France, Sweden, and possibly breaking into Spain, we'll come on to that uh, another day. So we've got 689 employees at the last count. We've got 138 multi-tent vehicles serving. If anybody wants to know what multi-tent means, it basically means it's frozen, grocery, chilled, and non-food all in one vehicle, which means there's reduced carbon footprint. We're just under 250,000 square feet of warehousing space, um, and we've just opened a new 150,000 square feet warehouse space in Newhouse, which you can now see on the motorway right next to the co-op. It's slightly as dwarfed by the co-op. We're not quite that big yet. But Breaks at current deal with about 40 Scottish suppliers and we procure £60 million worth in Scotland. Now, as I alluded to earlier, that goes not just in Scotland, but that goes right through the break group, including Ireland, Sweden and France. Breaks in the public sector. We're currently doing £45 million with the with public sector. Scotland XL makes up £36 million of that. We've been supplying the public sector for 30 years. We understand the logistics of the public sector. We adapt to the change of guidelines, and believe me, there's been a few. And we are at the forefront of innovation. So our plans for SMEs, to provide an opportunity for selected Scottish food and drink companies to the grow their services with a food service operator. We understand, as I alluded to earlier, the logistical problems that small companies may have getting all over the um, particularly Scotland, but even further afield in the UK. Introduce capable, fully fit suppliers to brakes that will add value to the business. We've um, come across a few cowboys in our day, and they don't quite fit in with where we try to um, go with them. Uh, there'll be a few fly-by-nights we come across, but at this moment in time, we're, we're prepared to talk to anybody and, and nurture them through the supply chain. Create a superb regional Scottish range. That's more corporate for breaks, enabling breaks to meet the demand for quality food and drink with provenance to a mutual commercial benefit. It has to be right for both of us. How will that work? We'll do a bit of coaching and development, and the areas of this will include own label versus branded. We have a huge own label ourselves, but we understand that there has to be brands out there as well. We'll do category analysis. Compet competing products, making the listing work, that is fundamental. You can get a product into breaks and it can sit on the shelves and not go anywhere. We need to make it work for both you and I. Navigating the buyer relationship. So we will bring you down to our head office in Ashford and let you meet our buyers. And we will navigate you through that and how that works. You've got to meet the commercial expectations of breaks. That is a bit corporate. But at the end of the day, it's got to be right for both of us. We've got to ensure you've got the resource capability that I spoke about that a few seconds ago. The supply chain capability, we just chatted on this a few seconds ago um, with some potential suppliers in the audience. Um, we have got the supply chain cap capability, but have you? Technical issues, quality assurances, marketing. Everybody will remember, Leslie, three years ago, Horsegate. That was a bit of a torrid time for breaks. 
as it was for any uh, supermarket when, when that happened at the time. So we were able to trace everything back to, 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 uh, to farm, basically, and, and we came through that. We've got to make sure our suppliers, our potential suppliers, are credible. Breaks Events just spoke to um, Donnie and Kate from Pizza Power, and um, they have just, in the past year, had their products brought on to the Breaks Network. But in that time, you've attended three events in a year, and that is where they get to meet our um, customer base. One of these included a Meet the Buyer event in Dynamic Earth in Edinburgh last year, and that wasn't just the public sector, that was all our independent business they got to meet as well. Although this is about the public sector as today, you have got an opportunity when you come into breaks to sell to independent as well. The HCA, which is the Hospital Caterers Association, public sector specific events. We're just off the back of doing two last week in Glasgow and Aberdeen. And we've actually got the assist conference coming up not too far from here in the Thistle Hotel in August. A case study, and an absolutely perfect case study, is Cosmos Pizza. I've referred to the um, assist conference. This conference was in St Andrews Bay in 2010 and Cosmo presented his pizza to us. Now, people may be familiar with that from retail. We weren't in 2010. Without boring you with all the detail, go to the very last point. In under five years, Cosmo is doing just under a million pound with breaks. It's a phenomenal success story. And then a testimonial from a brand that we all know well here in Scotland, and in particular Glasgow. The summary is that breaks want to work with SMEs, but it has to be mutually beneficial for both parties. But we will help you along that path. We won't close the door immediately, as people may think we're a big corporate brand that are just going to close the door. We know that working with SMEs, and in particular Scottish SMEs, is the way forward. Thank you.